right, we are here with week 41 of It's Business Time, and we are joined this week by Allison Perugini of Embark Mental Performance. I see you repping the brand. I, I am. love it. Thank you. Owner, founder, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Pleasure to have you. Thank you for having me. Um, before we get rolling, and I am excited to get rolling, Jen Evans was yes. the was the impetus here, which also goes back to the Delaware First business meetups. So a good community of small business folks. Yes. Um, but before we get rolling, I do always like to give a real quick shout out to Stitch House Brewery. They're right here on Market Street. They have 12 beers on tap, great food, um, great small business as well. I am doing the cherry pit this week. What is it that you're drinking here, Allison? The Dunkel Lager. Cheers. Highly recommend. The Dunkel, that's a good one. Yes. It's a, it's a quality lager. So thanks again to Stitch House for having us. And with that, we are rolling. Let's do it. Allison of Embark Mental Performance. Thank you for joining us. Um, so we don't know each other very well. We which don't. is always exciting, right? We get to kind of pick it up on the fly. Yeah. And I kind of love going into some of these conversations blind because ultimately this series was started for people who are thinking about starting a small business or are in the beginning of it and to kind of like help them realize that there is a community out there. There are people just like you doing yeah. those things already. And so rather than suffer alone, right? Yep. learn from others and so with that I do kind of like to start at the beginning like what was that moment where you said to yourself I don't want to go work for the YMCA or I don't want to go work for another like larger corporation that does something in my space I want to do this on my own I want to embark on my mm, own nice. oh my gosh mm. <laughs> Wow. That was an accident. That was that, you know what? I'm going to take it. I but I'm going to embark on I'm my gonna own use that. No. to go embark. <laughs> and you know what? While we're talking about the early days, feel free to mention the name. It's a cool name. I love it. Yeah. I love the logo. Um, I'm a marketing guy, too. So we'll, okay. we'll get into the, the branding in a minute. But let, yeah. me, let me hear, like, what were you doing in life that kind of got you thinking, this is my path. This is – I want. I'm, it's time to start this up. Yeah. Um, so I – probably had the first thought of start wanting to start a business when I first came out of grad school, which was in 2020. Okay. Um, also like the height of COVID, there was a lot going on. Um, and I was in Colorado at the time. That's where I got my master's at University of Denver. And there was just a lot of personal factors that made it not feel like I'm a, I'm a firm believer in timing of things okay. and okay. it just didn't feel like the right time or I didn't feel ready for it but it was oh it was a desire and kind of a goal and dream of mine probably dating back to 2020 um right, it just right. felt out of reach and so fast forward and even back then is when I came up with with the name mm -hmm. embark I, mm -hmm. I wrote it down on the notes section in my phone one day I, I was thinking about names and to me it kind of uh symbolized um you know, taking that next step. Mm -hmm. And so on somebody's performance journey is, yeah, they might already have a lot of like excellent tools and resources, but mm -hmm. like, let's take the next step together to provide you with more mental skills and tools to further enhance your performance. So that's, I kind of had the name kind of figured out a while before I started, which is cool. Like yeah. when it all came to fruition. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then fast forward to this past fall is when I finally kind of was like, I'm going to, I'm going to do this thing. And yeah. there was a lot of reasons why, or like kind of how I got there. It was like the timing felt right. I felt mm -hmm. ready. I personally felt like I was in a good headspace. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I had some stuff I had to kind of work through myself to be able to put my best self forward and mm -hmm. provide the service to people and so I, I finally felt like I was in a in a good place and I was um yeah it's crazy that it was just this past fall but yeah, yeah. um I, I didn't even realize it was that that recent but yeah that makes it even and more exciting because it, the, the early days there's there's so much to do to get yes. everything lined up and then and then you kind of like hit your stride, so to speak, mm -hmm. where, and this is what I call the referral period, right? Yeah. Where you have enough people who know what you do well, mm -hmm. where you start getting the calls back. And, yes. and that's, 
So, so I'm going to jump ahead a little bit because it's a relatively new business. Sure. Like, what, 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 what's been like the the first big stumbling block that you weren't really expecting? And it can be a mental thing. It can be finance. It can be whatever. Yeah. Um, but like, what was the first one that you weren't expecting? Because there are some we all expect. I would say probably right after like I officially launched in November, Mm -hmm. um, there was probably a solid month or two Mm -hmm. where I had absolutely like, like nobody was getting back to me. Like I was reaching out to like schools and coaches and other athletic businesses and I wasn't hearing anything back. Granted, it was also around the holidays. So I was, you know, I was like thinking of all the possible reasons, but it, it did feel very discouraging. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I just did all of this and I was very excited about it. Yeah, and now I'm yeah. feeling like, what am I doing? You're like, oh um, no, do I have to hire a, a marketing firm yeah. to get some responses? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so it was a struggle for the first month or two. Uh, also, I, I will say part of that is the challenge of what I am providing. So like sports psychology, mental performance, um, coaching is not really a resource that is in Delaware, which right. is both good right. and bad, right? It's, right. it's hard because I've been having to educate people on what it is that I'm providing and yeah. the value and co- so like spreading the word. But at the same time, it also is leaving this gap to be filled. Um, and so there's like both sides of that, but that's, that's been part of the challenge as well. Yeah. Um, well, I'm learning, um, I'm learning how many kind of niches there are in performance coaching, training, things like that. Um, we had 3D yeah. performance yes. on yep. a little while ago, um, and they're like very specifically strength, strength training. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit more about like, you know, when you say mental performance, um, yeah. obviously you need a, a good mental acuity to go with physical performance as well. Yes. Um, but I'm sure you've probably gotten this question from many people. Like, what, yeah. what does that kind of mean? How do, how do you translate that to the layman? Yeah, no, that, that is an excellent question. And um, really, in simple terms, I like to describe it as helping people to strengthen their mentality, but also, like, their mental game. If, if we're talking about sports, I work mainly with a lot of athletes and teams mm-hmm. uh, and coaches. And so it's strictly... Uh, mental skill development is kind of what I work on athletes mm. with and performers. And so, um, like, ca- just to name some of, like, you know, the, the popular, like, mental skills that we help to build and develop. Uh, think of, like, motivation and confidence, mm. emotion regulation, uh, mindfulness. And then we build those things to things such as goal setting and self-talk, uh, relaxation techniques. There's really, you know, the list goes on. So yeah, yeah. it's a lot of... Um, really having a conversation Mm -hmm. and um, also like working on exercises together. Like, you know, like, yes, I will, I will teach a skill, but then we're actually doing things together, whether it's a reflective exercise or actually Mm -hmm. like putting that, putting that tool into action. Um, So I could be doing that with an individual client Mm -hmm. or I also do a lot of um, group and team workshops and training sessions. So, yeah. Yeah. I I, I can definitely see that. So, um, you know, this is definitely about you, but I, I, I'll touch on, I've, I've been a musician for 20 years. So yeah. I taught vocal lessons for six years Okay. and it was crazy how much of the time I spent had nothing to do with music theory or notes. It was entirely about being mindful about your body being the instrument, Yeah. being properly warmed up, stretching, Understanding that just because it's not fun to go t t t t t t t t just because it's not fun doesn't mean it's not beneficial, yeah. right? And so I, c- I can definitely see a value on the sports side and like trying to make sure that you know we all hear about the the yips. Do you know yes. that term? Yep. Okay. Yep. Right. Yep. <laughs> and it's like making sure that you're connected to to the mental side of what your your body is doing. Yeah. Otherwise, for those who don't know, the yips is like an old school term. That's like, uh, you know, when you start choking and you don't understand why and you keep choking. And the more you think about how you're choking, the more you it continue spiral, to spiral. Yeah. <laughs> it spirals out of control. Yep. Very famously, uh, a catcher who couldn't throw the ball back to uh, the pitcher. Yeah. Who would always overthrow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so, of no, course, that's a great the, example. Yeah. the silliness in me wants to be like, you ever 
taught anyone with the yips? No, but but to get back to um, so you do the individual stuff. You also do the group stuff. Yes. Um, now, how much of this is like is physical stuff, and how much of this like let's say you're doing a like I, I call you and I say um, you know. I want to. I want to run a marathon, mm-hmm. right? Um, how much when you're working with a client is like we're actually running, we're actually like lifting weights, doing all that stuff, mm-hmm. and how much is like more of a mental acuity, or is that is that client by client? Or I'm trying to kind of wrap my head yeah. around a space yeah. I don't know very well. So I would say it's kind of client by client. Most of it, um, most of what I have done so far mm-hmm. is uh, very limited, like physical stuff it's a lot of like the most amount of like physical stuff we're doing is working on like breathing exercises together and like imagery and stuff like that um but there is a space especially with uh individual clients where i could like go with them to the gym or like be with them out on the track and kind of be that support as maybe they're walking through their pre-performance routine right, um right. and so maybe we're you know practicing that together yeah whether yeah. it's yeah like um you know maybe they have some sort of physical warm-up and then they add in like a breathing exercise self-talk mm-hmm. quick little imagery script um so there is a place where like i could come in and and help them but i am not necessarily the one like trying to enhance the the physical side of their right. game or the performance right yeah. Yeah. Got you. Um, and that's kind of, you know, excuse my ignorance on this field, right? Is it's like before I started the talking to all the individual like life coaches and performance mm-hmm. coaches, strength coaches, all that stuff. I just thought the word life coach meant like we'll do anything and everything. Yeah. But um, I, I love the brand. I looked a little bit at your website. I don't know if you caught the, um, the promo code or the card that I put on yes. Instagram. Yep. I, I, yep. I was trying to quote from your website a bit. I know. I was like, oh, that sounds nice. Yeah. I was like, oh, I said that. <laughs> yeah, I said that. Yeah. Wow, he really knows my brand. Yes, I uh, looked at your brand and copied and pasted. <laughs> um, but um, actually, well, I, I said the word brand twice, and I've summoned the marketing genie. Did you come up with the logo? I did. I nice. did. I had, um, I pretty much had a general kind of idea of what I wanted. And yeah. then I did have a friend kind of who was learning some, um, whatever you call it, branding, yeah, d- yeah. design, yeah, design, yeah. Uh, put it together for me. But yeah, I wanted it to symbol. I feel like I have a lot of my roots in Colorado. I spent five years there. And so yeah. I wanted to symbol, symbolize like the adventure and kind of, um, I don't know, add in some like mounts, as you could also see from my website. Yeah, um, yeah. Website too, by the way. I'll put that up here. Mm-hmm. But I also, I'm going to I'm gonna put the brand right here because I want to point, the two color thing is, is, is really cool. And the fact that you got mountains in there and it actually looks like text. A lot of people try and incorporate pictures and text and they fail. I had a hard time with the M. Yeah. I was like, I yeah. want this to look like a mountain, but also still <laughs> <laughs> resemble yeah. an M. That's so. why I wanted to point it out too, because yeah, it looks like it, it looks like you played with it until it worked, yes. until it worked yes. well. And you know, when you're starting up in, in small business, you're your own accountant, you're your own yeah. branding coach, you're because you don't have, you know, you don't have the bandwidth to 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 hire all these people. Right. Um, and, and I see all the time, like, right, there's the path where it's like, we do a bunch of fundraising, we hire marketing companies, we hire all this stuff. And, and then you basically, before you sell your first item, you're in the hole a quarter million dollars. Um, and then there's the other side of the coin, which is like, this might not be my specialty, but I'm going to give it a shot. Yeah. Um, and, and that's, I think, what gets me really excited about small business, small business owners is, is just the like, let's try and do this imperfectly get mm-hmm. it keep working until it's perfect yes uh, but anyway so i i did want to mention i i like i like the logo i like the brand yeah, and no, I, I was kind of curious um if that was internal or you said your friend got you going in the right direction mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um but yeah very yeah. cool Thank so you. so um yeah and this is the thing like i i got distracted i nerd out over over uh, love it. logos <laughs> I love it. Whoops. <laughs> um, but but so l- let's get back here for a moment um, to the actual flow of the business. Yeah. And then I want to make sure to give you a proper how do people find it, all that yep. good stuff here at the end. Um, but so in terms of the flow of the business, you are 
you go on location? Is that we were talking a little bit beforehand? Yes. So a lot of what I'm doing, I don't have um, like a, a home base. Uh, mm. A lot of what I do is travel. Mainly, my clients and teams have been Delaware based. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've traveled to a lot of high schools, mm -hmm. some indiv in individual clients I've either met like at their homes and like an office, or met somewhere in the middle at a coffee mm -hmm. shop. Mm -hmm. um, but the idea is that it's somewhere comfortable and like semi quiet so we can have conversation but um yeah very willing to drive wherever so yeah. just got an oil change yeah <laughs> <So>. <laughs> nice. um no that's good that's planning yeah. that's planning yeah. you know there's there's a metaphor there for all small businesses too is it's like if you do something little now that saves you from a big problem later yeah you know and hopefully that's a lot of what this series is about so don't forget to, to <laughs> get your oil changes everybody <laughs> if that's one thing you take away <laughs> yeah <laughs> if you no but 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 planning helps and especially to when are you are you currently the 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 driving force, the sole team member right now, or you? Yes. You, yeah, got you. Yep, all me. And so it's, it's yeah, I can absolutely attest, getting your ducks in a row, yeah. the sooner the better, yep. so that you can focus on your clients. Because yeah. where I see a lot of things go wrong in businesses is around year two, where the, they're used to handling everything on their own. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to let some of those systems go. Yeah. They don't want to bring someone in to do scheduling. They don't want to bring someone in to make the, you know, the calls or the outreach or design their brands or work on their, they don't want to do that because they've been doing it alone for two years and yeah. they like the way they do it, mm -hmm. but they don't recognize that your job is to enhance people's mental performance, right. not build websites. Yeah. So even though it was fun for two years, it's like, this is where I see a lot of, a lot of small business owners, they get into the, uh, every time I see them and I say, how have you been? They go, oh man, oh jeez. You know? <laughs> yeah, <that's> yep. <laughs> but no, that's so exciting. So uh, you definitely have to make sure to like, uh, let us know when your year anniversary is. Sure. Yeah. Because that's that's a cool moment. Yes. Um, someone I've been trying to get on the the pod for a while, a guy named Chris Bozer. He does um, the trash. Uh, shoot, I just forgot his brand name, but um, he does he does a lot of trash pickups for the events and festivals. Okay. And he just had his one year anniversary. Nice. Super cool, like to kind of see that progress because it's like you know well, it's, so it, much can happen too in a yeah, year. It's crazy. It, it really can. Um, it, it's your baby, you know. It's yeah. like to watch it grow is really cool. Um, all right, one more one more random question, yes. and then we're gonna do a nice big commercial at the end. Um, so next five months goes exactly the way you want. Is there a a dream athlete or sports team, or is there is there like a knit a niche? never know how to say that word a niche or a niche yeah. um that you are that you're gunning for that you're excited about that you would love to work with or something that you aren't doing now that you would like to be doing soon i think um so actually this upcoming fall i already do have something lined up that i have been kind of um like aiming for since i started okay and that is um kind of running a comprehensive program with a, a local high school here and so that will involve me working with the student athletes the coaches on staff and then also running a parent workshop oh, and cool. so I to me I feel like that is when you yeah. really get the most effectiveness the because you're, you're working yeah. you're working with everybody everybody's on everybody's on the same page um, but aside from that if again if we're kind of looking further out and this might be further than five months away, yeah. <laughs> but it would be really cool and kind of, I, I would just love to eventually be embedded, whether it's in a school um, yeah. or some sort of athletic uh, organization. Right. So like, I'm, I know, like I'm the go-to person right. for me, it will provide more uh, stability mm -hmm. and like consistency. Like I'll know who my clients are. Yeah. And I also think that when you have somebody embedded and you, you know, you, have somebody to be your go-to it provides them with a lot of value too right because yeah. they're getting the you know reinforced coaching and it's yep. not just kind of like a one-time workshop so that's definitely yeah definitely you can a make goal. the long-term plans too. yes the yes. strategic partners are really really good because it's yeah. like you you get to both be separate entities while having long-term goals yeah um that's awesome all right so 
how do people find you? What's the best ways? In Instagram, website, like what do you prefer? Do you prefer a phone call in the middle of the night? Like what's, how, how, how do you? Phone calls are great. Okay. Maybe not middle, <laughs> middle yeah, of the know. night. <laughs> but hey, I'll call back in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Um, you seem like you have a good sense of humor and I, I can't believe all the times <laughs> passed without like making more jokes, but here we are. <laughs> here we are. Um, honestly, I, emails are great. You okay. can, um, find that so on my website embarkperformance.com um you can scroll to the contact page of the website and it'll have a nice easy kind of submission form um uh, name kind of message if you want to send me a little message uh and that goes straight to my email mm -hmm. um yeah awesome. emails emails probably best quickest so head to the site, when? contact page is yep. best and preferred. Submission form. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. And then my email is also on that page if that's easier too. Gotcha. I kind of just like the submission Are form. You on in, you're on Instagram. <laughs> that's where. I am on okay, Instagram. Yeah, so Instagram um, as well. Embark Performance. I got to start smiling when I point because in my head I'm, I'm like, but then <laughs> when I do a screenshot later of like the website and everything, it just me. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, awesome. <laughs> Yeah. So very easy to find you. Yeah. Um, you head to, you got a low overhead and you head to the places. So I, I'm yeah. like really excited to hear where this is all heading. I also want to give Jen again, uh, Jen Evans. Yes. A thank you for linking us up. Um, do you, have you been to any of the Delaware first business? Uh, the third, I think it's third Tuesdays. Have you been to those yet? No, I have so not. It's a good one. Put it on your okay. calendar. It's right here in this, in this building, okay. Stitch House. Um, and that's the third Tuesday of every month is Delaware Business First. Awesome. It's like they get about 20 to 30 small business owners in. So it's like a good, good way to kind of crisscross. That's Mingle where I met Jen. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, cool. beyond that, will do. Uh, enjoy the dunkel. I will. It's getting warm now. I better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and Allison, thank you so much thank you, for joining. It was great. Allison from Embark Mental Performance. Yes. That does it for... <laughs> <laughs> week 41 of its business time thank you all for hanging out we will see you next time thank you <laughs> it's been